The video you're about to see is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the new setup that I'm going to be using in my custom firmware packs. And hopefully it fixes some issues that some people are having. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so this video is not going to be like my others uh, with a step-by-step -step process because I already have videos on that. The purpose of this video is mainly to um, show you all the new setup and why I'm doing it this way. And hopefully it fixes uh, issues that people have been having with my packs. So I am going to be uh, extracting the new files onto my SD card just so I can show you. all But like I said, it's not going to be a step-by-step -step process. All the links that you're going to be needing are going to be in the description down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so in the description, there's going to be the links for you. And one will be the other side, Hecate 6.0.7. And both of the atmospheres, the other side, Atmosphere 1.6.2, without Tesla menu and with Tesla menu. All these packs have been updated with the new files and hopefully the potential fix. But I would like to say to y'all, if my pack is already working for you, then you don't need to update right now. This is mainly for those that are trying to update recently and they have issues with either my AIO switch updater app or they tried to do it manually and they're having issues that way and the extra files or extra options will be a potential fix for them. So it would be up to you if you want to update. It's not needed if it's already working for you. All my packs from here on out will be using those updated uh, options slash files on um, the future releases. So just letting you know that. Okay, let's get started. So just like on my other videos, I'm gonna delete the atmosphere uh, folder and the bootloader folder. And I'm going to be using the Tesla version of this pack. I seem to favor that one a little bit more. And also for future videos that I'm gonna be posting, in the next coming days, it needs the Tesla menu for that. So the Tesla version of the other side with uh, the Hecate 6.0.7, same thing with 7-zip. I'm going to highlight all my files, extract them to the root. Now with Hecate, highlight all files, extract them to the root. That's it, now the SD card is set up. I'm going to eject. I'm already in the Hecate SD card tools. So I'm going to switch my camera view to my uh, switch and I, uh, I'll get back to you when I do that. So let me go ahead and inject. Okay, so once you boot into Hecate, you can just click on launch. And here you have all the options that are in this pack, including these two options now that I have added as a potential fix for those that are having issues with my packs. But I'll get into that in a little bit. And I know the camera quality is pretty poor. Everything's blurry. So I did a screenshot of my options in, in Hecate so that way you can see it better as I explain them on the switch. So I'm going to go one by one explaining these options as best as I can, even though I still don't know why one option works over the other and vice versa. But let's just go ahead and start with this first option here, which is OFW SysNand. And this option is basically your regular switch that has nothing on it with no custom firmware and things like that. These two options here are from my regular packs, my original packs. And this one is a CFW custom former on your SysNand. And this one is custom former on your EMU MMC. Now, these two options differ from the new options. As in these two options, once you click on them, they use the Fusey bin file to launch your custom former into Atmosphere. Now, I don't know how it works in that way, but I've been using them like this for the longest time. I'm still using them and they work for me. But for a lot of people, they, they don't. So I'll get into that in a little bit. But there's these two added options for those. Just in case it doesn't work in these two options, you can now click on these two options. So if you look on this one, it says FSS0SYS and we have FSS0EMU. So just like these two options here, one's going to be uh, custom former on your SysNand, and the other one's going to be custom former on your EMU MMC. But both of these options 
work exactly the same. So it doesn't make any sense. It's just that these two packs, like I said, run on Fusey Bin, and these two packs use the Hecate uh, setup, and it runs Custom Farmer off Package 3 in Atmosphere. So if you're smarter than me, and you can explain better than I can, leave a comment down below. But I just know that they both do the exact same thing, and I don't know why one works over the other. I'm going to assume that people that have been using my packs for the longest time work for them because they've been using my packs. And I'm going to assume that people that are new coming to this channel, they've probably used a pack before that used the FSS0 option. And when they update to mine, it conflicts uh, files and, and things get messed up. But now we have these two options here. So those of y'all that are new and are having issues. So for example, some have been having a black screen, some have atmosphere crashes and things like that. You're going to want to try these two options here first, especially those that have been using my packs uh, for a long time. Now you're going to want to continue using these options. But if you do experience any issues, you can go ahead and try these two options now. They both do the same thing. They both have the same setups. All of them have the protection that I've been saying on all my videos with Exosphere. So you cannot accidentally update or get banned in that and in another sense. But yeah, you're gonna want to use these two options first and then try these two options after. So just wanted to let y'all know that. Um, and I hope it helps y'all. This was the only thing that I found that was different from my other packs. So people have been asking for help, especially on my Discord, and they explained that my original packs they're having issues with black screen, atmosphere crashes, things like that. So uh, others in the community have been sharing file setups that use these options here, and it works for them. Or I have no idea why. So instead of making a whole new pack that has these options now, I wanted to keep the original ones, especially those that have been using my packs for the longest time that work for them. I didn't want to cause any confusion. And I went ahead and made just one whole pack and merged everything together. So everything's working fine for me. And I hope if you uh, try it out, it works for you. So. If you're having any issues when you use these options here, you can just go back into Hecate and try these options out and see if they work for you. But of course, if they don't, you can leave a comment and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But for now, we should be good from here. But that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to explain to you all the new options that we have. You can use either or. Those of you that have been using my packs for a long time, you're going to want to continue using the options that work for you, obviously, and you should be good. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go ahead and test out these uh, two options. So that way you can see that they're working fine for me and I hope they're working fine for you. But that's it. That is the end of the video. Now let's go ahead and test them out. Okay, so I'm going to start with the new options first, so that way you can see that it's working on my end. And I'm going to be using the FSS0 sys because I do not have an EMU MMC. Now remember that this option here boots your custom former atmosphere using the package 3 in atmosphere. And then after that, I'm going to go back into Hecate and launch this option here. And it boots uh, your custom former with the Fusey bin. Just so I knew that both op options work on my end, and I hope it works for you. I'm going to click on this option here, FSS0 sys, then I show my logo and then boot into. Switch home. Okay, so here on the switch home menu, we can check two ways to see that this uh, pack is working for you. You can check to see if you are safe, as in using Exosphere by going into system settings, scrolling all the way down to system. And then in system, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to see the serial information. And here you should have console at all zeros. 
So that's one way of telling that the pack is working and also there's no crashing happening. And then another way we can check to see if things are working is if you have any pre-installed uh, titles that um, will otherwise not work if the pack is not working. So I have this here, this folder, and this is a good telltale sign if it's working or not. And if you're interested in this, you can leave a comment down below and I can help you out with that. But just to test that this is working, if I'm able to boot into this and it goes into HB menu without applet mode, then we should be good to go. So it is working just fine here. And now we can go ahead, use my quick reboot and go back into Hecate. Now back here in Hecate, launch, and now I'm going to use the Fusey bin to uh, launch into custom firmware. Okay, so just like the FS0 uh, option, you can test to see if you are safe and go into system settings, scroll all the way down the system, in system, scroll all the way down to serial information. Here you should have all zeros on your console. So it's showing that this is also working the same and you can test it out on any pre-installed uh, title. And in this case, I'm going to be using the folder because a folder is a lot harder to uh, load. And if this was working, then everything else should be working. So nope. that's pretty much it. Everything is working for me. And I hope everything is working for you. But of course, if it doesn't, you can let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But yeah, both of them are working for me. I still don't know why one works over the other. But now um, you were having a 50-50 chance that my pack would work. And now you have both 50 options. So you should be 100% good now. So I hope my pack works for you originally. And I hope that it works for you now with the new option. So with that being said, let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it doesn't. And just want to say that I appreciate the love and support that y'all have for me and the patience. Cause I know I take a little while to post videos. Sometimes I spam you out with them, but, um, thank you very much for watching and I love you guys. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.